Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode on the Raymond Ranch. I wanted to show you what I've been working on for the last week and a half. This is the control system for the units that we're building in prototype. It's controlled by an Arduino control board right here that has an Ethernet board on it and that sends all the data up to our website, theraymondranch.com, into a MySQL database. It also allows us to control every aspect of the system from the website uh, from a distance so we could be on the other side of the planet and we can turn on the lights and the photobioreactor and the pumps and everything um, and take actions if necessary to cool down the system in the summer or heat it up in the winter uh, it's all going to be controlled right through this unit talk to you briefly about the other components of this system there's two relays in it that result in a DC bus and an AC bus so this is an 8 channel relay here and it's coming off of an AC to DC converter so this is the 12 volt DC bus and then over on the other side here this is a 16 channel relay and it's coming directly off of the AC so that's our 120 volt AC bus the reason we have two of these is because I'll show you here on the side these are all three prong inputs for normal AC units and on the other side here are the DC plug-ins right here as well as all of our sensor inputs uh, for the system such as temperature, pH, oxygen, uh, methane detection, all those things they're all going to be plugging in right through uh, those RJ11 plugs. There's a breadboard right now it'll be eventually replaced by a prototype board right now it's doing its job though so it's just a little bit of sticky right there to hold it in place and this board right here, this is the Arduino's power converter. It goes from AC to a 9 volt DC. And that comes with the unit inside of a normal um, adapter that you would buy, kind of like a cell phone adapter. And I just took it apart and took the guts out so that I can plug the Arduino in right here, all off of the same bus. So everything's powered by a single unit, by a single switch with a fuse on it. So. That's been uh, taking quite a bit of time to do all that wiring and figure out everything and make sure you do it correctly. Uh, no small feat for me, but uh, really happy to get this all going. This unit here is the photobioreactor. And that's just a fancy name for a grow unit for algae that's controlled. And what you have here is a DC motor going to a sprocket fully and then uh, with a rubber band in between, uh, this will rotate so that this item here will rotate. And then inside of this, there is a light bar. I'll show you real fast. Right there. And then down at the bottom, you can also see the air stone coming in. And that's so we can bring air and CO2 into the algae. I'm not very happy with this particular design. I wish I would have spent more time on it. And the reason for that is uh, on the bucket here, kind of show you, these are slightly offset. This one angles down a little bit while this one's straight over here. Um, and the rubber band tension was really important, but I had limited space to create the tension here. You can see I'm right up against the rim and uh, not really satisfied with that, but I'll turn it on here so you can see what it looks like while it operates. There it goes, and then down in the tank here, you can see that we're rotating, and we'll be filling this up with water here, hopefully this week, and getting some algae growing on it. So that's a, a major step forward. I still have to um, program the color sensor, which is right there. Uh, the color sensor will be used to determine how quickly and uh, if the algae is ready to be harvested and then I have a temperature sensor right here that also has to get wired in uh, to the system through the RJ11 system so we'll get that done and then the air pump I already have I'm just using an aquarium air pump right now so uh, that's our photo bioreactor it's almost done gonna look forward to seeing that thing completed and I guess while I'm at it you know you always see the weird colors here on my videos and that's because we're growing stuff so let's show you an update. Here is the grow bed. And you can see that the vegetables are actually doing quite well. Uh, we're actually gonna be exchanging out these items over here 
Uh, they were just test plants that we got some seeds for real cheap and we're going to be putting in some lettuce and some green onions and all that type of good stuff. So uh, the system's working well and we're really proud of it. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time on the Raymond Ranch.